Dr. Jacob gave us a capsule understanding. One is that it um, blocks certain types of nerve conduction. These are the fibers which produce pain. Second, it reduces inflammation or swelling. Third, it actually improves blood supply to an area of injury. Fourth, and this could be the key, in the test tube, in certain types of injury, it literally stimulates healing. But is it safe to use? We put that question to Dr. Richard Kraut, head of the Bureau of Drugs of the Food and Drug Administration. How many people have died from using DMSO? How many people that you know have gotten ill from using it? Nobody's died from using uh, DMSO. It, it's, it's a relatively safe drug, as, as drugs go. Mm -hmm. it, it causes uh, skin rash, where it's put on, or at least redness of the skin. It's caused um, hives in a few people. It may cause uh, headache, nausea in some people who use it. And it rather routinely uh, imparts a garlic odor to the breath. So it's got side effects that are not entirely pleasant, but it's not been a toxic drug. It's a safe drug. Comparatively safe comparative, drug, you would yes. say. So we come back to the controversy that began 15 years ago. Dr. Kraut insists that despite these anecdotes, neither Dr. Jacob nor any other scientist has ever really proved that DMSO is effective. They've never proved scientifically that it works for anything other than a rare bladder disease called interstitial cystitis. I think people are... are rooting for the drug, in a sense, rooting for the investigators to come through, give us some, give us the right kind of evidence that stands up under scientific scrutiny. Well, and that's, that's how simple it is with DMSO. So I put a sampling of apparently credible scientific evidence before Dr. Kraut. Are you familiar with dimethyl sulfoxide in musculoskeletal disorders, Journal of American Medical Association? Yes. Topical Pharmacology and Toxicology of DMSO, Journal right. of Medical right. Association. Mm -hmm. A double-blind clinical study, DMSO for acute injuries and inflammations, current therapeutic research. Yes. Treatment of erotitis and aerosinitis with topical DMSO. An entire book on the subject of dimethyl sulfoxide by D. Martin and H. G. Hawthorne. So it's not as though this is some quack remedy that a few people have used and swear by, there is a considerable body of scientific investigation undertaken. That's right. With some very key holes in that body of evidence. And that, and those key holes are? Controlled trials demonstrating that it really works for some of the claims that it's, uh, um, that it's touted for. But controlled trials with DMSO are difficult because that would involve something called double-blind tests where neither patient nor investigator knows who is getting a drug, who is getting a placebo. And that can't be done with DMSO because the smell of the drug gives it away. What the FDA says is needed is proper testing. And that, for instance, is to treat comparable groups of patients with and without the drug over a long enough time to evaluate its consequences, good or bad. And this, say the doubters in the medical establishment, has just not been done with DMSO. The National Academy of Sciences, you know, looked over a lot of the work that has been published about DMSO, right? Yes, they did. And the National Academy of Sciences Committee said, in effect, that only a few were scientifically sound. That most of the DMSO studies had been inadequately set up and carried out. I don't agree with that conclusion because um, um, I personally have published um, several dozen articles on DMSO and I've been associated with two New York Academy of Sciences symposia. There was no one on that committee, Mike, who had actually ever treated uh, a patient with DMSO, to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I think that that makes a difference. This young mother, Sandy Sherrick of Riverside, California, suffered severe whiplash and nerve damage in an automobile accident two years ago. When we first met her last November, she was in agony. No painkiller, no therapy, no doctor, it seemed, could help. Oh, the pain was extremely bad. I was to the point where I cried continuously. I did not cook meals. I did not clean. I barely got myself dressed. And this went on for how long? Months. They finally got to the point where they just told me, you're going to have to live with it. 
the weather's going to affect you, and you're just simply going to have to live with it. Then she heard about DMSO. And as a last resort, Sandy Sherrick, as you can see, still very much in pain, flew to Portland, Oregon to be treated by Dr. Jacob. We went with her. She received her first dosages intravenous. This is running about an hour, an hour and a half. Soon. I can taste it. You can taste it? Yes. You ready? Don't be too disappointed.